What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jeremy here back again with another fragrance video. Hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing, man. Hope you guys are in good health. And if you watch this channel, I know you are smelling off the chain. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing, man. Hope the family's good. Hope the money's coming in. Y'all already know how I give it up. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Show me love. So, all right. I appreciate you guys, man. As always, I ain't come to take up too much of your time. Another pack was sent in the mail from the family over at His Parfums. Send me over his new fragrance, man. He's been pumping these things out like crazy. And today we're going to be talking about from the House of Hairs Parfums, John. That one is Voodoo Magic. Voodoo Magic. And I haven't smelled anything. I haven't smelled this yet. I haven't sprayed it yet or anything. So we're going to have ourselves a good time. Get ourselves a first impression of what this is going to be. I do have the notes pulled up for you guys. And a little backstory because, you know, obviously has part farms and most of his fragrance has something to do with history or you know the great state of louisiana you know what i'm saying but anyways top notes are pink pepper raspberry grapefruit and anise base notes is ooh oh you got oud in here okay ooh caramel chocolate coffee patchouli sandalwood and incense so just from that note breakdown i'm expecting something sort of kind of gourmandish a little bit of like a smoky nuance like okay like a voodoo pot like if you were you know whipping up a voodoo pot you know what i'm saying and like the the you know the i don't know what they put in voodoo pots but i'm pretty sure it's smoky let's go to the fridge anyways y'all let's go ahead and hop right into it i'm gonna go ahead and grab a tester strip actually you know i don't have anything on so i'm gonna spray this on skin so let's get into it bottle looks like that so Got like the little Beetlejuice vibe on there with the black and white. It says Voodoo Magic in red. Look at that juice color. Look at that juice color. And let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, off the atomizer, you definitely pick up some of that 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 ruggedness, that that ooty patchouli dankness. Let's go ahead. Pink, pink, pink. All right. Ooh. This is definitely deep, woody, sweet. This isn't like sweet like Cafe Beignet and Bourbon Street where it's like a real like playful, playful sweetness. This is like dank and dark. Let's see. Those those uh top notes I'm not getting too much of. I get like this dark coffee, woody, like sweet, earthy, almost kind of like it kind of has like a almost like a petrol undertone, like a like a oily undertone. I gotta let this uh sit on the skin for a little bit, man, but this is different. This is not like any of his other releases, man. This is definitely off the beaten path. I'm guessing that Oud is making it kind of give me like this, like this, I want to say it kind of has a greenness to it, like a, er, like a, a danky, earthy, but that could be the patchouli. Yeah. I'm going to definitely have to spend more time with this, but this is not like anything that he's released, yo. This is... This is a step in the right direction as well. I like, I like how I like the creativity, heads. I appreciate you. Okay, now that coffee is coming out a little bit more. It's not like a like a cafe to do it like a frappuccino type of coffee. This is roasted dark coffee. That sweetness is starting to come out a little bit more. That caramel is more like a. It's not like a super, super. Like, you know, caramel when you get done shaking the sugar or you get done turning the sugar. How it's like, you can smell like the sweetness. This is like almost like a barrel, like an old caramel type of vibe. Mixing with that coffee. 
definitely, definitely fall and winter. Definitely fall and winter. Only fall and winter, in my opinion. I can't tell you guys too much about the longevity because this is just a first impression. But it does seem like it's going to last a long time. Or it's at least going to give you a six hours. Okay, now it's starting to get, it's starting to lighten up now. It's starting to get a little bit of freshness in there. I was hoping that the anise was going to play a little bit more because the anise kind of comes off sometimes like ginger where it kind of adds like a, like almost like a fuzziness to it. Solid. This is solid. This is solid. Again, y'all, I get like this dank, earthy, dark roasted, sugary type of vibe, but not like a, like a, there's, there's different type of sugars. It's like a light sugar. This is more on a dark sugary type of vibe. But this is nice, Hez. You, you did your thing again. What I can say I like the most about this fragrance is the complexity. I like the fact that it's different. It's not like anything that you've made, which I, I, I really, really will be putting a, a full wear for this. But again, y'all, have y'all tried Voodoo Magic from the House of Hez Parfums? Let me know, y'all. 50 mil of this right now on his website is running you about 95 bucks, but he's doing well. Definitely check it out. I would love to know y'all inside if you guys picked it up, man. But again, Voodoo Magic from the house of Hez Parfums. My family over there doing really, really good things, man. Definitely pumping them out for sure. My name is Jeremy. You are tuned in to the House of Colossus. Don't forget to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to have that friend. Tell a friend about my videos, y'all. Through the grace of God, my, my end goal for this year is to hit 5,500 family members, Colossus family members, by the end of the year or by my birthday, which is New Year's Day. So, hey, I need y'all help to make that happen. I appreciate y'all, and I'll catch y'all in the next one through the grace of God. Peace.